Hello there YouTube and welcome back to Mobster Monkey and today we have another review coming. Um so I got a another I guess not another. I got another I got a package in the mail. Um pretty excited about it. Um so I'm guessing <laughs> I hope that it's uh I'm hoping that it's my uh, figure that I've been wanting to do a review of for a little bit. I just barely got it. So let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Alrighty, and we're back, and it looks like it was exactly what I was hoping it was going to be, which is the new Marvel Legends Hulk figure uh, that was just released, the 20 years anniversary Hulk figure. This figure is amazing looking. Only thing that I have an issue with right now is GameStop um, boned me over with the way they packaged this thing. They put it in a too small of a box, and so the top is bent really really bad as you can see it's got a crease in it really really bad um, I think that might be my deciding factor on opening it I think I've been thinking about opening it for a while <laughs> depending on whenever I was gonna get it um, because it looks like a super awesome figure but we might hold off until I can afford another one um, until I can get my hands on another one of these guys um, But GameStop like thanks for thanks for boning me man. That that's just fantastic. Like look at that Like you couldn't have kept it in better shape man. Like why'd you have to put it in a smaller box? GameStop if anybody from GameStop's watching this I would like to uh, get another figure <laughs> One in, in more of a a uh, in more of a, a better box uh, so that it looks better for display uh, <laughs> but no the figure looks amazing this uh this is probably the, one of the best head sculpts I think the Incredible Hulk has ever done it looks freaking gnarly everybody I I've been getting like a lot of mixed judgments on it uh, it kind of looks a little goofy if you uh, depending on it, how I guess depending on how you look at it it can look a little goofy because it's kind of going for like a 70s, 60s, 70s vibe. Um, Incredible Hulk style head. Um, I really enjoy this head sculpt a lot. Um, I feel like it's got a lot of uh, Lou Frigno feels to it. Um, I recently, I picked this guy up for about $40 from GameStop. I'm not sure exactly how much he's going for anywhere else. So hopefully, maybe I can pick them up. I might try picking them up from uh, this other website where there's some damaged ones where he's out of the box already. So I'll get like a discount. Um, so we'll we'll see. Um, but this guy is, looks freaking a massive. I love it. You can see how bulky this dude is. Like filling this this box, um, it feels like he's like easily like ten pounds. <laughs> You could kill somebody with this if you just if, if somebody broke into your house This is like something that you would grab to, to fight somebody off But it does come with two head sculpts it comes with his mouth shut with an overbite um, That's that's pretty dope. I really enjoy the overbite and then he's got the uh, the screaming head the angry head And then it comes with an extra uh, little piece um, from uh, a robot um, I'm trying to think of the name of the bot right off the top of my head um, but it's not coming to mind. Um, let's see if it says anything on the back. It definitely does not. Especially if you can't really read all of it. But I'm guessing it's just all saying the same thing that it does up here at the top. Um, but it does come with a backdrop. It looks pretty sweet. It comes with a display um, with gamma kind of popping off. Um, and then he's got the hands here, which are different from the hands here. So it does come with extra hands, as you can see comes with some fists which it does look like this uh, body uh, sculpt is the same with the uh, maestro uh, sculpt that he has um, I know there's another a couple other figures as well that have the same body type or body sculpt um, which is understandable because this sculpt is amazing um, you know because he has that heftiness he's got that green he's just looking wonderful it looks really good 
Um, the only thing I'm having issues with, as you can see, if I get up here, is you can see some white right here on the pants, but when you go to the back of the pants, because the leg's turned, there's like no white tracing going into the back. And it's the same thing over here. You can see where they traced the little cut right there, and then they traced the front of the pants. Kind of hard to see in there. Front of the pants, and then to the back of the pants right back there. Really difficult to see um, in the box, but um, without trying to manipulate it. Right there, you can see it. And then I'm not sure if they did it with the pants, the top of the pants or not, but it looks really, really good. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of this figure. Of course, again, it's a, it's a throwback to Series 1, um, Incredible Hulk, um, which, of course, it looks a lot more different than the, the original Incredible Hulk. And that's okay, because uh, uh, I'm okay with that. I don't, I don't need the, the very first one a figure that looks just like the very first one because it wasn't very good um it had like what rubber fingers weird rubber fingers um it was it was whack it was whack um but yes guys i love this head sculpt let me go ahead and give you a very close view of him there we go looks really well done again stay tuned i'll probably be buying another another figure one that's out of the box already so that I can just have them out of the box as well so that we don't have to damage this one um, because you know me and collecting uh, in the box uh, figures doing box reviews are some of my favorite things to do um, and then I'll go ahead and show you guys kind of what it just says if you guys want to stop it and read it let me turn this so it's not getting such a bad glare it's still getting that bag, but there you go, kind of, there, uh, 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 there you go, there we go, that's a little better, a little better, right, but yeah, guys, I really enjoy this figure, um, I'm glad I was able to pick it up, only problem with this box, again, GameStop, if you could, uh, if you could, uh, fix this, this issue, that'd be great, <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of disappointing. I had high hopes for GameStop, man. Uh, there's a reason I ordered it from them, but I'll probably not order ever again from them due to the way they package this guy. He's too big to put into a little box. Don't do it. Put him in a little bigger box. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, because I did. I sure enjoyed them. And if you guys did, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, also hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. And then also hit that bell so that you are notified anytime I upload. Again, um, I'll most likely be buying another one of these guys just out of the box. Um, once I get a little bit of money um, that I can throw at a figure um, that I've already bought. Um, but yeah, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed. And we will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.